Some of you home builders and stair builders and even do-it-yourselfers have heard me talk about how important it is to plan as much of the project out in advance before building it. And what we're looking at here is what I would consider something that didn't have a lot of planning. Uh, someone really didn't put a lot of thought into it. And of course I'm talking about the head out connection here. If you look at this, it's kind of boogered up. You know, how are they going to drywall it? You know, are they going to come up here and then straight up here and then over here? Um, you know, uh, why is why is this area here exposed? Let's face it, if there was a crack, if something split down here somehow, it could could considerably weaken the stairway. If you could imagine a split, just follow one of the grains down here and of course here we have it nailed. Uh, the one on the wall wouldn't be as bad. The one in the middle here would be worse, you know. Um, yeah, I like to see these areas supported. Even if they would have took, taken this board here and lowered it to here and left a gap up here, I would have rather seen that. Um, however, um, this is just part of the problem of the planning. Um, couple of things I'd like to point out here you know nailing a cleat on that's not a bad idea um, I'd like to see a metal strap something holding it up here instead of a piece of wood and by all means I'm not suggesting this is going to fall down at all trust me I've seen things um, that have lasted a lot longer with a lot less uh, thought into it um, we have a single rim joist here and it runs across. You can see it right here. It's running across and it's supported on the other side. Um, why couldn't they have added another stud here and supported it? You know, this is this is the main problem I have with this is they're using cleats to support the um, hanging stair head out, which is a structural item when realistically they could have, have put some supports under it. And this realistically is the reason why I'm making the video is to point out that all they would have needed to do was run this head out, which looks like a two by 10, into the wall here and then used a stud or a post, a couple of studs to support it. So um, I don't have a drawing to show exactly what I'm talking about, but if you could just imagine running the head out another three and a half inches into this wall area here and then placing a support post underneath it then um, you realistically wouldn't have needed the cleats and you would have had a nice structural connection and of course while I'm saying that um, I'd like to point out a couple more things you could have easily moved the head out back if you would have moved it back just a little bit, let's just say three inches, even put it up against here, you could actually see and then and then cut the stringers difference differently. You could have ran the stringer up to it, which if you could just follow the bottom of the stringer up to this area here, which would be where this two by ten head out would blend in by moving it back, you could see that you wouldn't have had this gap here. You wouldn't have had this problem simply by moving the head out back. Another thing I would have liked to have seen would have been this to be a doubler. You could have got rid of the blocks here. These pressure blocks really aren't a big deal. And of course, if they are, then you just put them in. But you could have made this a doubler, which realistically, it probably needs to be a doubler anyway. Um, another thing I'd like to point out is I don't know if the joist here, the floor joist, if this is a doubler above the head out, if it is, then we don't have any hangers on these blocks, on these joists, and obviously they would need some hangers. Um, and if it is, um, if these are blocks, then obviously this would be, um, this would be, uh, this wouldn't be a doubler up here. But I think this is, they just don't have, I think they just don't have the, um, hangers on there. I'm, I'm hoping they don't, but if you think about it, if they don't have a hanger on it, uh, this this cleat's obviously in the way, create, going to create a problem for putting the hangers on. So this right here is a is kind of a mess, and uh, it's it goes back to the poor planning. So 
like I said, the reason why I made the video was just to bring up this. You know, all you need to do, you could add some support underneath here by extending this board into the wall area. And of course, this right here could use some additional support since it's not a doubler. So to fix everything here, like I said, move this back, run it into the wall, put a support under here. And again, if it's going to be a problem, if this is going to create some type of a problem by moving this back and, and then putting a support underneath it, because realistically it could create a problem moving this um, head out back if you move this head out back about three or four inches you can imagine that if you look below this uh, it could create a problem for the hallway or the area um, underneath this so again these are all things we would need to take into consideration either way if this was left alone um, at least you could put a support underneath it and run this over like this and um, you would uh, you would definitely stiffen this structure up uh, considerably.